Hello my dear friends, welcome or welcome back. Really happy to see you today. I have a short, I promise, Bath and Body Works candle. It's gonna be short because I don't have anything terribly great to say about it. So, candle in question is Bath and Body Works Praline Delight. Um, and I was one of the people who loved this packaging. Oh my gosh, I love it. It was that like very woodland forest vibe. And I guess there were some people that were really, it was very off-putting to them to see a very praline, i.e. gourmand candle with like eucalyptus and mushrooms on the front. Like it was just like, why? And I kind of understand that, but I just think that the colors and the 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 fall evocativeness um, make up for it and just make it a beautiful label for any candle, period. And it came out in a huge like woodland kind of collection. Um, they weren't all gourmands, and so there was like cohesion in that respect. I suppose if you were just picking up the one though, it would be like, why are there mushrooms on a praline candle? Perhaps that is a fair objection. Anyway, I thought it was lovely. The wax color is this beautiful light chestnut brown, and which is really appropriate. There are some little nuts there, which is really nice. Um, and there's just, a, a, the, the colors are muted, they're beautiful. And because it wasn't a full wrap around, it was only $24.95, and I just thought they were so stunning, including this one. I believe Praline Delight was, I think this is a new candle for this fall. It's not terribly remarkable, and I knew that from the beginning. I knew it when I hauled it. Um, it smells like a lot of very similar Bath & Body Works candles in this genre. Um, the notes on it are roasted pecans, brown sugar, creamy caramel. Um, uh, to be expected notes for a praline delight kind of candle. That said, it's not a joyful candle. <laughs> So the delight, it is praline. I think praline is fine, but I would say that it is more on the brown sugar side than the gooey caramel side. Like it doesn't give you a toffee vibe necessarily. It gives you much more of a molten brown sugar deeper in the range, which actually I was a little bit more on board with it initially because while it was super gourmand, for me it didn't go like candy gourmand. And I actually thought there were maybe some nuances of something a little bit, okay, not like wood so much, but there are just deeper elements. It was a very deep brown sugar rather than a high candied sugar. Um, like I said, I kind of appreciated that. In terms of roasted nuts, I think it might be a nut adjacent <laughs> nuance. <laughs> because it does go down in the basement in terms of that brown sugar, it could very well be something that's kind of pecan-y down here. But I wouldn't say that nuts comes across strongly enough perhaps even to identify it if you didn't know that it was here. And I think some people were kind of dismayed by that. Also, I interrupted myself. The praline might be there to some extent, but I'm not sure that the delight is. It is not an effusive candle. It is not a extravagant candle. Um, it's not overly generous in terms of its gooiness, which, like I said, I prefer personally, but I think that if you're gonna call a candle praline delight, there should be something just exorbitant about the way that it comes across, you know? Um, and I'm not sure that this one did. Um, the problems that I had, so first of all, the strength and throw on this were not great. I would say that when it was burning high, I was getting maybe a um, five and a half to a six out of this. And you did have to burn it for several hours for it to have some sort of presence in a fairly moderate sized room. Um, you had to have it burning for a good two hours, maybe two and a half, um, and then you would get kind of a nice six out of it. 
Um, I don't know if it got quite up to a 6.5, but it was like a six. Um, I had a beautiful little girl over to my house and I was babysitting her and she walked into the space where this was burning and she's like, why does it smell like cookies in here? Um, and it did, it did kind of smell very like, like I said, like a brown sugar kind of cookie. Um, and I do have to say that it went a bit more gourmand upon it being burned than it did smelling it. So as you can tell, I probably didn't love that so much. I don't like to have like cookie smelling candles in my house, although God bless, I know so many of you would love that. That would be a dream and a fantasy. So for those of you who really love that kind of um, caramelized brown sugar kind of cookie vibe, I was definitely getting a nice sense of that at about a six. Um, I don't know that it's gonna be enough for many of you. It wouldn't be for me even if I loved the fragrance. And I was really only getting that beautiful like brown sugar cookie thing for about a third of the candle. And then after that point, um, although it didn't, it didn't burn particularly evenly from the beginning, but I've been having that problem. I've said that in, in an earlier video. I've been having that problem with Bath & Body Works candles like for a bit. Um, but it really struggled with low wicks. I don't know that they went fully puny, but they got real close to puny. And I would say after the first third of the candle, it just was heavy with soot. Um, so I could probably burn this down to the wick clips. It's, it's burning extremely low, kind of puny at this point. And as you can tell, it's like starting to drag a little bit here on the side because it just takes so much to get it to go to the edges. I could burn it a little bit further than this, but I have to be honest, the smell that's coming across when it's burned now is strongly sooty to the point that it's messed with the fragrance. The fragrance is no longer coming across purely. I would say it's at least 50% soot, but then on top of it, it's like kind of, um, and I don't usually get this with Bath & Body Works, but it's like a strong waxy paraffin kind of smell too. So um, I just, I don't, I don't wanna burn it at this point. I didn't even love it when it was burning pure, but I'm certainly not gonna be burning it now. So I think we're done with this. It's not gonna go in the crock. Um, this was a candle that was a little underwhelming. Um, and I think it was underwhelming for a lot of people. It is on, in terms of strength and throw, but I, I think the fragrance is underwhelming as well. So I would be kind of surprised if we saw this again. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I think they could come up with something better. I, Bath & Body Works can do better. They can do better. I, have I seen them do worse? Yes. And I can't say that it smelled like artificial or synthetic. It just was very, very simple. It wasn't very interesting. And it certainly didn't live up to the expectations of um, its name, Praline Delight. I don't think it did that. It wasn't nutty enough, it wasn't caramel enough, and it wasn't joyful enough. So I can't really recommend it to you. It may still be around, but I haven't seen it in a bit. So um, you may catch it at semi-annual, but I think it's, it's probably gone, and I would imagine gone for good. However, if it comes back, this review will be here for posterity's reasons and purposes. Um, I will catch you guys in the next one.